You guys tell me the 10 most streamed best rap album winners at the Grammys. Yes. Okay, so streams for the albums. Yes, the whole album. All right. Uh, views. Not there. Did Views not win? I don't think so. Whoa. What did, though? Was Take Care? That is five. Okay, that's number five. To Pimp a Butterfly. Not there. That's 12. Oh, wow. How about Damn? That's number one. Yeah, okay. Now I've got my yeah, got yeah. my gauge here. Show me Igor. That's 10. Okay. Nice. All right, we made a sandwich. We got the bread. Mm -hmm. Let's fill it <laughs> with a bunch of meat and cheese. Can I do a ketchup and mustard guess here? Yeah, sure. Relapse and recovery. Recovery is seven. Relapse is not there. The better album, in my opinion. I don't <laughs> care. I didn't mean that. <laughs> uh, it is, though. Yeah, whatever. Show me another Eminem one, Marshall Mathers LP. That's eight. Okay. Did I hear that right, that Recovery has more streams than Marshall Mathers LP? That is depressing. As an Eminem super fan. Um, show me the heist. <laughs> that is six. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Those three are like... Right in a row is just cursed. Awesome. It's cursed for the Grammys to have those three in the right in a row. All right, uh, Good Kid, Mad City. Not there. Show me Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Not there. That's 13. Yeah, a little too new. Okay. Show me Coloring Book. Not there. That's 11. Oh, great album. Grant, is Graduation here? That's three. Yes. Completely forgot about Kanye West. He's a person. Yeah. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. That is nine. Nice. All right. I'm going to keep the train rolling. Uh, late registration. Not there. That's 14. College dropout. Not there. That's 15. Okay. The coloring book with more than late registration and college dropout. Hey. The student has become the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> How about hard knock life? Not there. Is the miseducation of Lauren Hill here? Not there. Isn't there a Marshall Mathers LP too? There is, but it's not here. Okay. Oh, show me Invasion of Privacy. That's four. Yeah. Nice. I like it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too early. Call me if you get lost. Not there. That's 16. Wow, we have really filled out yeah. almost 10 to 20. Yeah. <laughs> is the Carter 3 here? No, it's not. Good mm. guess. Stankonia here? It's not. I was going to say there should be an outcast one yeah. here, but... The Eminem Show. That's two. Yeah. Dumb. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> what a list. That one was fun. Yeah, that was super fun. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, check us out on YouTube, Hive Mind. You guys tell me the 10 best basketball jerseys of all time, according to Sports Illustrated. Oh, oh yeah. Finally not Ranker. You yes. Know? <laughs> all right, you first. Um, I got to go show me, like, the 80s Spurs. Not there. Mm. I feel like this is going to be biased based on the team being really good, but show me the 90s Bulls. That's number two. Yeah. Not that great. Those jerseys are fun. I think they're they're cool. Classic. But they're not anything crazy. No. They just are looked at in a certain way because they were so good. You know? Okay, don't. Yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, are the Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys here? No. Oh. Okay. Do we have, like, the early 2000s Toronto Raptors here? That's eight. Yeah, those oh, jerseys right. are crazy. Yeah, they're good. Vince Carter? Yes. Oh, With the Raptor with the ball? Yeah. He looked good, Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> Vince Sanity, baby. I'm going to kind of take the Bulls logic here. Show me the Boston Celtics. That's three. Yeah. Classic. What year does it say? All years. They've never changed. Oh, yeah, they've yeah. never changed. Yeah. 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 Mm. Show me the Lakers. That's one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I disagree, though. Me too. They're they're okay. I like uh, the whites. I like that design, but I'm not, like, in love with it. Yeah. I think that, honestly, the Vancouver Grizzlies, those would be my number one, probably. Yep. Yeah, these are the 78 to 99 ones. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, I'm a sucker for the late 70s Houston Rockets jerseys. Not there. Mm. Mm. The Hakeem Olajuwon era? Yeah. I love those. Are the 90s Cavs there? No. Ooh. I liked those. Those are cold. You they're the blue ones. Yeah, <laughs> early into the early two thousands too. Yeah, they're simple, but like yeah. I don't know, there's something real cold about them. Yeah. Oh, the Seattle Sonics got to be on here. Supersonics, not there. Really? I didn't really. I don't know. Those are okay. I feel like those are beloved because they were taken away. Totally. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. Show me the two thousands Pistons. Not there. 
Oh, well, wait. Ah, uh, whatever. There's got to be other pistons on there. I think I was miss... I, I'm thinking of the, the like, turquoise yeah. ones, those crazy ones, mm -hmm. you know? I'll give it a shot. Show me the 90s pistons. Not there. <laughs> There's no pistons at all? No. Okay. Okay. That's a mistake. They got this list incorrect. Yeah. Show me Joe Kim Noah era Florida Gators. <laughs> Not an NBA team. <laughs> Not an NBA team? No. <laughs> there are a lot they of were pros good. on there. Yeah. You had Al Horford. You had Chandler Parsons. You had Joe Keem. I mean, there are some ballers on there. And Brewer. Corey Brewer. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Corey <laughs> Brewer was great. A great kind of 3 and D guy. Really good. Super athlete. Someone's got to be on here. Someone's got to be on this list. Um, the Miami Heat. No. Oh, show me the classic Hawks jerseys. Not there. Mm. Those are nice. I like those a lot. Yeah. You know who's not going to be on here? The Oklahoma City Thunder. You're right. They're not on there. Yes. <laughs> Just and I wasn't guessing either. Yeah. Who? Show me the Wizards. Not there. Yeah, those are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially not the current ones. Yes, ugly. <laughs> maybe, the, the, maybe the Bullets. The Gilbert Arenas era. The Golden Alternates. You remember those? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the Warriors because they're good. That's six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, who cares? Those jerseys are nothing to write. Mm. I can't even picture them in my head right now. No, they have the bridge on them. It's yeah. a circle. That is so lame. <laughs> Oh, I've always loved the, like, early 2000s Kings. No. Ah, uh, the Mike Bibby, Peja. Eh. I like those ones a lot. Timberwolves. Minnesota Timberwolves. Not there. I'm going to keep it in big markets because that seems to work. Let's go to New York Knicks. No. Really? Mm, it's a that, classic. Yeah, that's interesting. How about the Dallas Mavericks? Not there. Mm. Okay. Are the Milwaukee Bucks here? No. Their new jerseys are kind of nice. I don't like that logo. I know everybody's always like, oh, it makes an M and, yeah. you know, makes an M out of its face and all that. I don't know. Which reminds me of Jägermeister. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a brewery logo. Mm -hmm. It's got to be Phoenix Suns. No. No Suns jerseys at all. No. That's crazy. What? They have the, they, like, people wear that just for style. Yeah. That's wild. Are the Clippers here? No. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> they suck. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How about the Indiana Pacers? No. How about the Charlotte Hornets? That is nine. Okay, that makes sense. The 88 to 2001. Kids. Yep. Okay. Are the Denver Nuggets here? That's four. Okay, are we talking like powder blue and gold, like Carmelo A Anthony era? 82 to 93. That's the oh. rainbow Alex English era. Those are crazy. Yeah, those yeah. are insane. Those ones deserve to be there. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Are the Portland Trailblazers on here? That's five. Yeah. Okay. That one's stayed pretty cold. So now we've got one throwback, one modern? Yeah, one throwback, and one present. For the throwback one, I'm going to go with the New Jersey Nets. Not there. Mm. I like those. Yeah. They're all right. I don't usually like the red, blue, and white. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like that's too standard, but I thought it could be just because of Jason Kidd. For modern, are the Brooklyn Nets here? No. Those are terrible. Yeah, they're not great. They're like the most boring jerseys I've ever seen. They look like practice jerseys. They look like an and one team or something. Yeah. The way the text is on Brooklyn. It's <laughs> yeah. Oh, 76ers. That's 10. Yeah. Totally. Are the Orlando Magic here? <laughs> That's seven. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The pinstripes. Yeah, pinstripes. Oh, I can. Shaq breaking yeah. the backboard. Tracy yeah. McGrady, oh. Penny Hardaway. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Those are classic. Okay. All right, buy us one of all of those jerseys, and we'll be back with some more TikToks. <laughs> yeah, and let us know what sport to do next. You guys, tell me the 10 best Bulls players of all time, according to Ranker. Ooh, Chicago Bulls. We are nerd session. We're nerd session. All right. You start off, Riley. Uh, let's go with the obvious, Joe Kim Noah. That is not there. Ah, Horace Grant's got to be on here. That's eight. Yeah, goggles. Okay, I'm going to go with Michael Jordan. Good guess. That's number one. Really good pull. Oh, yeah, thank you. Really nice pull. <laughs> thank you. Unbelievable pull. Don't know where that came from, but yeah. something came over me. Kind of a heady move. Um, show me Taj Gibson. Not there. Taj. Show me Scotty Pippen. That's two. Wow. Yeah. Number two, above Derrick Rose. That's three. Yeah, that seems... Scotty never won an MVP. That's all I'm going to say. Well, yeah. He did win like six titles or whatever, but whatever. Derrick Rose won one MVP. Yeah, youngest ever. And it's the most contested, you know. <laughs> yeah. Show me Dennis Rodman. There's four. Yeah. Is Zach Levine here? That's seven. Okay. That feels weird. Because he's just so new. Yeah, and he just, it's not like they've had any success. 
Yeah. I don't think they've, they might have made the play in. Yeah. But mm. whatever. Fan favorite. He's great, though. I like Zach. Yeah. Is Steve Kerr here? No. Oh, I thought. You yeah. know, I mean. No, that's a good guess. Yeah. I'm going to keep it white and kind of keep it champion style. Sure. Show me Tony Kukoc. That's nine. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about Kukoc. Kukoc had that burner. <laughs> he was nasty. I think he was Croatian. Kukoc. Sounds Croatian. Grant, is Jimmy Butler on this list? At five. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Buckets. Kind of feels like he should have always stayed there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Me and his dad played there. Well, never mind. I know too much. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Um, Grant, what are we looking for now? Six and ten. Just six and ten? Yes. Okay. Um, just judging by like the pool of names we're kind of running out, are these players old? Yes. Okay. Hall of Famer? Yes. Artist Gilmore? That's six. Wow. Great pull. Artist. Yeah. Artist the artist. <laughs> I, I like that era of like the guys that went ABA into NBA. That's like such an interesting time. Yeah. I mean, some of them were beasts and others were cocaine addicts yeah. in the 80s. He was a heartthrob, too. Gilmore Girls. Ooh, wee! <laughs> yeah, Gilmore's Girls. Show me Kyle Korver. Not there. Mm -hmm. Butterbean Love. <laughs> yeah. Bob Love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bob Love. Yeah. yeah, Bob Love's nasty. Bob Love was, like, one of the first, like, oversized guards. All right, those are the ten best bulls of all time, according to Ranker. Let us know what team to do next. Call me Butterbean, please. <laughs> Can you guys tell me the ten best Premier League players of 2023? Footballers. My backyard. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Start us off. Uh, number one's got to be Erling Holland. That's correct. That's number one. <laughs> Most goals ever in the Premier League in one season. How many are we talking? There's like, four, like 38 or 39, maybe 40 Jesus. goals. All right. Smash some records. All right, I'm going to go with a pretty obvious one here that I think should be on here. Yannick Bellassi. Oh, he is not here. Oh, it's a great poll, though. Oh, thanks. Really yeah. big deep cut there. No Balassi. No be <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> what a history. Yeah. Number two, let's go with uh, another Manchester City player. Let's go with Kevin De Bruyne. That is number two. De Bruyne, is he like the Nordic looking guy? Young blonde guy? He's, he's Belgian. He, yeah. He's got, he's ginger. Oh, okay. Not the guy I'm thinking of. He's someone else. I'm thinking speed. <laughs> I'm, thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking size. Yep. <laughs> I'm also thinking goalkeepers. Okay. Riley, is Peter Schmeichel on the list? Peter Schmeichel is not on the mm. list. Really old goalkeeper. Yeah, I love that name. Yeah, it's a great name. It's hard to forget. I've Peter always, Schmeichel. I've always known that name. Let's go with Arsenal starlet Bukayo Saka. He is number four. Okay, uh, okay. All right. That's all right. All right. That's okay. Show me one of my personal favorites, <laughs> Joey Barton. Joey Barton's not on the list. <laughs> oh, man. Really? Joey Barton. That's a great name. Really? Yeah. Sounds like a... Sounds like a right fielder. <laughs> Absolute shithouser is what he is. Let's go with another Arsenal player. Let's go with Martin Odegaard. He is number three. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> Big season this year. Okay. Mbappe is not in the Premier League, No, he's, he's in the Ligue 1. French. French. The French boys. Yes. Riley, is the Kane that's Harry on here? Harry Kane's number six. Okay, okay nice. 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 Give me one at least. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> the only good player for Spurs this season, which I hate to even admit, is yeah. I hate that team. The burning passion. A player who had a good season despite the team's poor season. Give me Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah is number seven. Oh, okay. Okay, okay seven. Still knocking him out. Haven't missed yet. No. I haven't watched the Premier League closely in a couple years. Is Gareth Bale here? <laughs> he is not. He's not? Is he retired? Oh, he's playing golf now. Uh, well, I did see him play golf, but those seasons, you know, you could do both. <laughs> it looks the same, yeah. Steph Curry's doing both. <laughs> Let me see Gabriel Martinelli. He is not here. Wow. Oh, he swing a and a miss. He had a great season. Mm -mm -mm. 15 goals, man. What happened to Virgil van Dyke? Not on the list. Oh, oh man. Get it off here, big caliber center back. Yeah. One of the most expensive, I think he might be the most expensive center back in the world right now. Big guy. Sexy, too. Yeah. Really good looks on him. That's why I picked him. Show me Marcus Rashford. That's number five. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Great season. Yeah, really good season. Yeah. Post-World Cup. Yeah. He came back and was smoking hot. Post-World War, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, talking about that. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Riley's Pele on this list. No, Pele's <laughs> not on the list, no. It's odd, isn't it? It is weird. He yeah. had a great season yeah. last year. I don't yeah. believe it. 21 that's, goals, that's seven crazy. assists. <laughs> From center back. It's insane. Let's do my Champions League player of the tournament. Let's do Rodri. 
Rodri's not on the list. Wow, that's crazy. Dang. Very underrated player on Manchester City. Totally snubbed. And he scored the game-winning goal in the final. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> Riley, show me Kepa Arizabalaga. Not here. <laughs> I'll be damned. Shameless player. <laughs> I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Another Arsenal player. Let's go with William Saliba. Not here. Whoa. Wow, that's actually insane. Um, Riley, give me a hint. I cannot. Oh. I do not know who these people are. <laughs> that's okay. kind of why I'm not on camera for this one. I get it. And yeah. Grant uh, is because yeah. he watches football. That makes mm. sense to me. Yeah. And I watch football. Yeah, heard that, brother. Um, show me Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is he threw for 25 more touchdowns after smoking DMT. That's all I'm saying about that. Um, Riley's Bernardo Silva here. That's number eight. Wow. Oh, nice one. Bernardo. Bernardo <laughs> Silva. All right. If he's eight, then nine's got to be Ilkay Gundogan. Not here. Whoa. Ilkay Gundogan. Ilkay Gundogan. Sounds like a Star Wars character. Yeah. <laughs> Riley's the king of goals here, Bob Timbers. <laughs> Bob Timbers is not here. Hey. Man, he could rip it in yeah. there. He was number 11. Oh, yeah. oh man. That makes sense. Okay, give me another city player. Give me Jack Grealish. Not here. Man. Mm. Okay. Riley, is Hyunmin Sun here? Number nine. Yes! That is crazy. Yes! Spurs had a bad year, but he's a good player. That He is a good player. Is Ruben Diaz on this list? He is not. They don't like center backs on this list. They're getting hate. That's <laughs> crazy. They don't like clean sheets. Everyone likes clean sheets. Riley's Riyad Mahrez here? He is not. Not a lot of defenders on this list, but I'll go with uh, Nathan Ake. Is he here? Nope. Oh, wow. Um, just guessing funny names now. Is Phil Foden here? That's number 10. Whoa! Oh! How is he on this list? Phil Foden? That's crazy. He's like not even a starter half the time. What a pleasure. Whatever. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, more soccer content over on YouTube. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> You guys tell me the 10 greatest Yankees players of all time, according to Ranker. Are we talking baseball? Talking a little baseball, New York Yankees. All right, you start them off. You know why the Yankees are so good, right? Why? It's because the other team's always distracted by their pinstripes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, show me Lou Gehrig. That's two. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Mickey Mantle. That's three. Babe Ruth. That's number one. I would argue that Mickey Mantle should be above Babe Ruth, but yeah. that's not a conversation you guys are ready to have. Also, I'm not from New York, and I don't talk like this. <laughs> I talk like this. I'm from Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do the rest of the video like this. Show me Derek Jeter. That's seven. Let's keep it that same era. Show me A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez. Not there. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But the controversy got the best of him. What? They, they tried to remove him from that list. So. Babe Ruth was a drunk. Uh, show me Yogi Berra. That's six. Only yeah. you can prevent forest fires. fires. Yeah, I, know. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> okay. You're funny, though. Thanks, man. You're a funny guy. Thank you. Show me Jason Giambi. Not there. <laughs> That's surprising. Yeah, he was cute. He was cute. Show me Bernie Williams. Not there. <laughs> uh, Aaron Boone. Not there. Ah. Alfonso Soriano. No. Mariano Rivera. That's five. Nice. Yeah. Best closer of all time. Yeah. Coffee's for closers, and that guy liked coffee. Yeah, well well put. Well said. Thank, we'll take him. Thank you. <laughs> Show me Aaron Judge. Not there. Mm, not yet. Maybe. Yeah. It's early. Oh, CC Sabathia. Not there. Yeah. Also a drunk. <laughs> I'm Dr. CC. <laughs> yeah. He's awesome, though. I just can't picture him not in a Cleveland uniform. Yeah, he got thin and sober for one year, and he just didn't have the juice, and he got back on the sauce and started throwing that fire. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't only throw when he was big and fat. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, 103. It's like the Shaquille O'Neal of baseball. Yeah, he had the flat belly. He'd wear it like this. <laughs> I remember watching an episode of Cribs with him in it. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Grant, show me Joe DiMaggio. That's four. Yeah. Here's to you, Joe, Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio. The nation turns its lonely eyes to you. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> God bless me, please. Did Ichiro make the list? Not there. I'm guessing based on odds here, because this guy played for everyone, I'm going to go with Kenny Lofton. Not there. <laughs> I don't even know if he ever wore a Yankees jersey. I'm not sure. Grant, does Randy Johnson make the list? Not there. Mm. More of a diamond back, but... More of a photographer. <laughs> oh, yeah, fantastic. He also killed a bird once. Hit it with a ball. Grant, show me Reggie Jackson. 
That's 10. Yeah. Boom. I'm going to guess Kurt Schilling. Not there. Uh, Grant, show me Hideki Matsui. <laughs> Not there. Hmm. Show me the bat wiggler, Gary Sheffield. Not there. Also known more for his time with the Red Sox. Show me Wade Boggs. Not there. And known for drinking a lot of beer on an airplane. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Posada here? No. That's weird. Grant, show me New York's hero, Bucky Dent. <laughs> Not there. He's got a baseball school and everything. <laughs> I think I got one here. Sure. Whitey Ford. That's eight. Oh, Whitey Ford, yeah. Oh, that old Whitey. Yeah. Grant, how about Robinson Cano? Not there. <sighs> Milky Cabrera. Not there. <laughs> Do you say Milky or Milky? Milky. No, I know it's not Milky Cabrera. <laughs> it's Milky Cabrera. It's creamy guy. How about Bobby Abreu? Not there. <sighs> we just need one more? Yeah, just nine. Did Carlos Beltran ever play for the Yankees? I knew he played for the Mets. <laughs> Royals. Good oh. guy. Though. Oh, Casey Blake. Casey, Casey Blake. Blake had to play for the Yankees at some point. Is he on there, Grant? No, no, he's not. Hmm. Ooh, what about Ulysses S. Grant? <laughs> not there. That's a famous wow. Yankee. Super famous Yankee. That's weird. Ooh, uh, Goose Gossage. Not there. <laughs> really? Did Rolly Fingers ever play for the Yankees? <laughs> he had a crazy mustache and played for the Brewers a lot, but... <laughs> Catfish Williams. Uh, <laughs> show me a uh, player turned manager, Don Mattingly. That is nice. Oh, no, yes. Don Mattingly. Yes. He was so good. Yes. So good. All right, those are the 10 best Yankees of all time, according to Ranker. Let us know what team to do next. What's up, baseball fans? <laughs> yeah. you guys, tell me the 10 most famous Franks or Franklins. Frankly, I think we can. <laughs> you should start. Franklin the Turtle. Not there. Ball loady. Uh, let's go with the obvious Frank Thomas. Not there. The Big Hurt? Mm -mm. <laughs> White Sox? <laughs> I know. I was going to guess <laughs> that Baseball too. legend? Yeah. Frank Zappa. That's four. All right. And I'm going to go with his contemporary, Frank Sinatra. That's number one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Show me Big Frank Ocean. That's three. <laughs> his name's Christopher. <laughs> you shouldn't be on the Frank Ocean. You shouldn't be on the Frank list. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Reynolds is going to show up next. <laughs> Franklin, comma, Benjamin? Not there. Reversed it. I see what you did there. It doesn't count. Oh, okay. You put his name inside out. Yeah. You got a real guess? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. How about a uh, folk punk singer Frank Turner? Not there. Okay. Uh. Show me the creator of Falling Water, Frank Lloyd Wright. That's nine. Okay. Only number nine? Yeah. Well, this guy's got to be above him. Frankie Muniz. Not there. Is this date night or text Frankie Muniz night? <laughs> 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 he is a secret agent, so he stays He stays in the DMs. There's no Frankies on the list? No Frankies. That's good. That's a terrible name. Come on. It is a bad name. Whatever. Is Frank Mueller a person, Grant? No. Oh. Hmm. Well, he's just not a famous Frank. I think he's a famous Frank. Maybe you just missed the list. I mean, <laughs> Frankie Muniz missed, missed the list. That's true. Frank, <laughs> Frank Muniz missed it. How about Frank Caliendo? Not there. That's insane. Impressionist, come on. One of the best. The best John Madden to ever be. Yeah, better than John Madden himself. That's true. Franklin D. Roosevelt here? That's two. Okay. See, I thought his first name was just F. Yeah. <laughs> just FDR. FDR. What did he serve, like 15 years or something? <laughs> For what? Racketeering, I think. Ah. Yeah, they got him on Rico. <laughs> Dang. I'm going old school here. Is Frank Capra on the list? That's 10. <sighs> I do not know who that is. Old man. Uh, I'm going to go with Frank Lee, Mr. Shankly by the Smiths. Not there. <laughs> okay. Grant, give me a hint. There's a footballer on the list. Oh, Frank Lampard? That's five. Yes. Don't know if that was the footballer. I'm going to go with Frank Gore. Oh, nice. <laughs> Not there. Really? 55-year-old running back. Still, still <laughs> gets you a fourth and one. Hey. Kind of a shot in the dark here, Grant. Is Anne Frank here? <laughs> Not there. <sighs> A shot in the dark is a dark way to set that up. Yeah. <laughs> dark way to set up an Anne Frank guess. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go Julio Franco. Not there. Really? Huh. Are we throwing in the towel here, Riley? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know who these people are. <laughs> who are the other Franks? Eight's Frank Howard, seven's Frank Laro, and six is Frank Langella. Langella. Oh, definitely knew all of those. <laughs> yeah. Definitely knew all of those. Shout out my guy, Frankie. All right, well, let us know what name to do next. And if you like this, we have a whole episode of it over on YouTube. Hive Mind on YouTube. We'll look it up. The name game. You guys, tell me the 10 greatest TV shows of all time, according to Ranker. 
Oh, I definitely trust them. So. Yeah. Uh, I'll go first here. The Sopranos. That's four. Oh. Okay. Show me The Wire. Not there. Bro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Breaking Bad. That's number one. Number one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> Settle down a little bit. Um, has Succession cracked the list? No. Ah. Game of Thrones. That's five. Nice, Riley. You watch way more TV than me. What's going on with you? I get I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 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 Show me friends. Not there. Oh! Uh, I'm going to do a rapid fire here, if that's okay. Just the actual best shows of all time, just to get them out of the way. Okay. Uh, Lost. Ink Master and Love Island. No, none of them. Okay, no. all right. Well, it's a bunk list, but that's fine. <laughs> um, show me The Office. That's three. Wow. Show me Always Sunny. Not there. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Is Cheers on here? No. How about Mad Men? No. Hmm. Mm. Seinfeld. Not there. I feel like it's definitely favoring non-comedies. I know we got The Office in there. Yeah. But, oh, is Spongebob on here? No. Really? Oh, is The Simpsons on here? No. Oh. Then, I mean, naturally, I'm going to have to guess Family Guy. Go ahead. Not there. Oh, my gosh. What do people watch? Like, what, what's it. going on? You know what I mean? Is The Peanuts Charlie Brown here? Not there. Oh, okay. How about Stranger Things? Not there. <sighs> That one hurts you, doesn't it? No, I already guessed Lost, Ink Master, <laughs> and Always Sunny. Those ones hurt. Show me Hot Ones with Sean Evans. <laughs> Not there. Oh, never no. mind. Good answer. No, never mind. Good answer. <laughs> Ooh, Family Feud. No. What okay. the heck? I guess Springer. Get Jerry your, Springer. Your breath is putrid. <laughs> R.I.P. Jerry Springer. Guess oh, Springer. Man, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race is not here. No. All right. Uh, how about Tom and Jerry? That is six. Yeah. Tom and Jerry Springer. Yeah. yeah. Back when he had a co-host. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Mini series count, Grant? Sure. Band of Brothers here? Yeah, that's nine. Steven effing Spielberg. I had to watch that in social studies class. That's awesome. I hated it. Shout out the Pacific with Rami Malek. I do not like war stuff, so yeah. I like legitimately hated it. I would take all my break or bathroom breaks to be like 20 minutes. Sure, that's that. awesome. I do not care about that. What I do care about, though, is Looney Tunes. That is two. Yeah. I mean. Wow. Number two yeah. is Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, hey. It's better than The Office. Y yes. You yeah. got to respect the classics. I guess. I can't believe SpongeBob isn't here. Yeah. Pinky in the brain here? No. Ah, that one's good. You know what I just noticed? Yeah. <laughs> I love TV. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing it. And you can buy this on HideMyTV.com. <laughs> Show me the nanny. Not there. The Fran Drescher. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, UK Skins? No. Wow. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? No. The Reboot? No. Ooh, the Gritty, gritty Reboot. Gritty Reboot of Fresh <laughs> Prince. The Not-So-Fresh Prince. Yeah. Does Twilight Zone make the list? That's seven. You are now entering a realm of imagination. <laughs> Show me Black Mirror. No. Yeah, well, the new season kind of ruined that. I think. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Get back to screwing pigs, am I right? Exactly. They <laughs> had it with the first episode. <laughs> Where, did Where did they go from there? I mean, I haven't seen one single thing about a pig since then. Then we got Miley Cyrus and Aaron Paul. <laughs> Could it be the Smurfs? No. Uh, oh, Parks and Recreation. No. Are the Flintstones here? No. What about the Jetsons? No. Uh, fairly Odd Parents. No. Uh, Teen Titans. No. Uh, who is the girl with the mole? The girl with the mole? The naked mole rat. Oh, Kim Possible. Kim Possible. No. Uh, oh! Jimmy Neutron. No. Rocket Older. Power. Rocket Power. Rocket Power. No. How about Cat Dog? No. Ooh, uh, you're getting closer. A cat dog, so it's old Nickelodeon? No. There's a cat or a dog in it. Though. Yeah, it's got a cat or a dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Garfield. Garfield? No. Cat in the hat. Cat in the hat? No. That wasn't a show. <laughs> a dog on a log. Uh, Dragon Tales? No. Uh, Frog and Toad, the books. No, that's not it. Um, Over the Garden Wall? No. Adventure Time? Adventure Time? No. All right, you go. Better Call Saul? That's eight. Rip! I never seen it, but... It was better than Breaking Bad, in my opinion. It was better than Call Saul, I think. So ten involves a dog and or cat. 
Is Clifford here? No. Scrooby Doo? <laughs> That's 10. Oh, Scooby Doo and the mystery, the mystery Man game. <laughs> Those God. were the 10 greatest TV shows of all time. That was difficult. Who knew Scooby Doo would be on there? That's so stupid. Do you think there's people out there who are like sitting down and like, do you want to watch Breaking Bad or Looney Tunes? <laughs> and they're like, that's a tough choice. Those so are the two gross. best shows of all time. I know what we're not watching. The Wire. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let us know your favorite TV shows in the in the comments. And uh, check us out on YouTube. See ya. You guys tell me the 10 highest grossing reality shows of all time. I would love to. Would you like to go for a chat on the day beds? The Bachelor. That's eight. Eight. Uh-oh. How about The Real World? Not there. Hmm. Survivor. That's six. Oh, there's gonna be a bunch of shows that count. I'm thinking of like straight love reality, like lust and love. And I gotta think more in like the Gordon Ramsay realm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's his biggest show? Hell's Kitchen? Not there. Amazing Race? Not there. Not so amazing. Uh, America's Next Top Model? Not there. Is that really even reality? I think that's more of a competition show. Let's try it out. Is American Idol here? That is seven. Oh, so those ones do count. Oh, yeah. The Voice. That's number one. NBC's The Voice. I mean, it is a smash hit. Show me the masked singer. Not there. Good. Yeah, that's good. It's probably creeping up there, though. That show sucks. Ooh, um, ooh, 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 X Factor. Not there. Really? Dancing with the Stars. Not there. That's crazy. I really thought that would be there. Jersey Shore. Not there. Mm. Um, Jersey Shore's not going to be on there. Okay, well, he just said it wasn't, so you don't have to, like, rub it in. <laughs> don't make me feel bad for guessing something. You got a bunch of wrong guesses, too. No, I did. I got two. Whatever. Oh, Love Island gonna be here? I sure hope it is. Uh, you don't sound like that. I'm sorry. That's more of a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, my bad, man. I came at you sideways, and you didn't deserve it. Uh, oh, River Monsters. Not there. <laughs> Oh, they had to stop the show. Um, Grant, is Love Island going to be there? I sure hope it is. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, there's so many seasons and they got so many episodes. Oh, watch me. I'm going to be you. Show me the best show of all time, Ink Master. That's not there. Oh, it definitely should be. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Uh, show me gambling every day. <laughs> Not there. Yeah, you crossed the line. You crossed the line. <laughs> That's my last straw. If it is your last straw, you should just bet it. See if you can get five. <laughs> it's usually a three straw minimum. Okay, whatever. <laughs> is the apprentice on here? That is three. Boom. You fired. <laughs> you fired. <laughs> you fired because you're a woman. <laughs> You're fired because you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> and you, get out. You're a minority. You're fired too old, not hot enough anymore. <laughs> you're just not hot enough. We're doing like the Jimmy Fallon yeah. Donald Trump impression there, but that's fine. The Bachelorette. Not there. I bet it falls under the Bachelor franchise. Cake Boss. <laughs> not there. Bam. Is Chopped on here? No. Iron Chef. <laughs> not there. The Great American Bake Off, or whatever it's called. No. Okay. Are there any cooking shows? Yes. Rachel Ray! Not, <laughs> not there. Is it Top Chef? That is five. Wow. Chef, I need some top. And yeah, she cooks up some really good top. That girl. Sorry. <laughs> heck, I'm talking about Jeremy Allen White and his sexy biceps. You're over here talking about getting top. That's all I can talk about. He got a divorce, and now he's... A uh, city boy, city boys up. City boys up. <laughs> city boys up five points. Yes, chef. You know what I mean. And goo goo gaga. All right, <laughs> um, back into it. Is Jeopardy on here? It is not. How about Keeping Up with the Kardashians? That's ten. Only number ten. Wow. Yeah. I would think it would be higher. Can't believe I didn't think of it first. What's that? I don't know. I'm trying to look crazy. <laughs> more views. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I think you look crazy enough as is. People like that kind of stuff, though, man. Trust me. Ooh, guess sexy beasts. The one where they dress up as like in crazy makeup and date each other. I'm not gonna do that. It's a prank. Um, speaking of pranks, show me punked. No, <laughs> not there. <laughs> That's a crazy guess. <laughs> <laughs> not a great 
<laughs> Three cribs. I might. Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Not there. Come on. Show me pigs. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, show me cops. Not there. I'm as brave of you. Thank you. <laughs> Live swine PD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, show me Breaking Bad. Not there. Oh. I told you a thousand times that was not a real show. <laughs> Seemed pretty real. I don't know how you fake that. All right. Is America's Got Talent on this? That's nine. That's what I was thinking of with X Factor, I think. I meant. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't X Factor like. What's X Factor? X Factor was hosted by Joe Rogan. No, that's Fear Factor. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your mind. X Factor. X Factor is the British version of America's Got Talent. Baloney. It is. Simon Cowell started X Factor. That's how One Direction got formed. Yeah. The British version of America's Got Talent isn't just British Got Talent. No, America's Got Talent was made after it. Just X like Factor, The Office? Yes. X Factor is like Ricky Gervais' office. America's Got Talent is like Steve Carell' office. I love them. Speaking of The Office, The Office. Not there. That one's real, right? It's real good. Okay. Um, how about Bar Rescue? Not there. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is Dr. Steve-O here? Not there. <laughs> Never made it to the air. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen him make it to the air plenty of times. That dude goes flying off of stuff, and it's all sorts of wacky shenanigans he gets into. We're going to destroy everything you love, because you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dr. Steve-O's premise. Yeah. Basically, like, this guy can't talk to girls, and so we're going to beat the shit out of him and have him walk over broken glass. <laughs> Is RuPaul's Drag Race here? That's four. Let's go to work. Oh, to <laughs> work. I'm going to demon drop for TikTok. Yeah, go for Oh, it. my back. <laughs> Help me up. Get me back in the chair. Uh, I don't know. Get me back in the chair. It seems like it could be a prank. I don't want to get pranked. <laughs> Boots the house, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh. Madonna <laughs> stuns a new selfie. That's another reference. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh, I got an idea. Show me basketball wives. Not there. Oh. Really? Poker wives? No. Oh. Esports wives? No. Golf daddies? <laughs> Not there. Oh. Charcuterie uncles? Not there. Uh, how about, is it just real housewives? That's two. Oh, yeah, there's so many of them. They do Atlanta, Denver, Little Rock. Berlin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, don't go to Bergen again. <laughs> it's like, uh, get off my back, woman. I don't know why the German guy sounds like that. <laughs> whatever. If you guys like stuff like this, check us out on YouTube. <laughs> Say bye, Riley. I can't. He says bye. I'm bye. sorry. <laughs> you guys tell me the 10 funniest people of all time, according to Ranker. Oh, they're always so good with their opinions. <laughs> me. No, you're not there. Sorry. You'd be on my list. Thanks, man. You'd be, you'd be on mine, too. <laughs> Didn't sound super confident about that, but okay, show me Jerry Seinfeld. Not there. Bunch of young people. A bunch of Zoomers made the list, I guess. Zoomers love him. No, they don't. Girls. No, stop. <laughs> um, show me Eddie Murphy. That's three. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle, come on. Back to <laughs> yeah, he did talk to animals. Yeah, yeah he sure did. Great and idea. then he was a talking animal in Shrek. Yes. Is renowned transphobe Dave Chappelle on here? Yes, he's two, unfortunately. <laughs> Trans rights. How about Will Ferrell? Not there. That's 12. Will Ferrell's not on the list. Elf? Come on. Adam Sandler's got to be. It's not there. Come on, people. I know who they'll put on this list. Little Kevin Hart. Not there. Seems kind of an obvious ranker, Paul. Was that like a Trump? Like a, it's Little Kevin Hart. <laughs> Everyone thinks he's so funny. Me, I don't think he's that funny. Not that funny. <laughs> Out of my room, that makes leans too heavy on stage production. I think the fireworks trick people into <laughs> laughing. I think they do. It goes boom and you have to laugh. I get it. Oh, show me Trump. Not there. <laughs> he might be on <laughs> I disagree with him on pretty much everything, but he might be on my list. <laughs> Is Tiffany Haddish here? No. How about Bernie Mac? No. Chelsea Peretti? Not there. Too early. Not for me. Amy Poehler? Not there. Amy Schumer? Not there. Okay. Dane Cook? Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda Sykes. No. Oh. Richard Pryor. That's eight. Nice. Boom. Chris Rock. Not there. That's 18. Mm. Okay. Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres. No. <laughs> Tina Fey. Not there. 
Colin Yost. Not there. It's Jost, man. It's a Yosty. <laughs> Is Norm Macdonald on here? No. Stavros on here? Not there. Mm. Stavros Halkius? Yeah. Oh, okay. How about Mitch Hedberg? No. Steve Harvey on here? Not there. Ooh. How about Lewis Black? No. <laughs> He's angry, and that's what makes it funny. How about Louis C.K.? Not there. Thank God. Uh, ooh, Rob Schneider. Not there. Chris Farley here? That's four. Yeah. yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, very, very funny. Uh, show me Roe Ramden. Not there. Someday. Yeah. Someday. Chevy Chase? Not there. Who I'm assuming Roe takes a lot of inspiration from? Speaking of people she probably takes inspiration from, David Spade? Not there. How about Rodney Dangerfield? Not there. Mm. Oh, how about Jim Carrey? That's five. Yeah, okay. Nice. Philip Seymour Hoffman? Not there. Seth Meyers? Not there. Steve Carell here? That's nine. Really? Well, then now I've got to guess Ricky Gervais. Not there. How about Bill Murray? That's six. Oh, and I'm going to guess, God rest his soul, Robin Williams? That's one. That's number one? Yeah. Wow. He was an amazing actor, but I don't know about funniest person ever. Yeah. Show me Curly. Not there. Mm. Like from the Three Stooges? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was the funniest of the Three Stooges, Obviously, in my yeah. opinion. But Oh, show me my Uncle Ricky. <laughs> Not there. Dude, come on. <laughs> yeah, no. He's Tasteless. got the craziest. Come on, Tasteless. those jokes are wild. Tasteless. They're off the wall. Um, Steve-O? Not there. Really? He put a fish hook through his mouth and jumped in the ocean. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's really funny. That's yeah. shark bait. He yeah. was shark bait. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, show me Steve-O Irwin. Not there. Is John Stewart here? No. Like I'm eating Skittles on the toilet. Show me John Candy. That's seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quahog's own Peter Griffin on the list? <laughs> Not there. Come on. How about Bo Burnham? Not there. I just thought maybe like rankers yeah. really like that. Actually, you know what? I I'll use this time to say this. I I've come around. I think I we've been too harsh on Bo Burnham. Me. I'm going to say that for myself. I think Bo Burnham does some good, like, great, some good, great stuff. And some stuff that's a little, you know, whatever. But I think I've been too harsh on Bo Burnham. So I'm sorry, Bo, if you watch. I'm going to double down. Yeah, that's fine. How about George Carlin? That's 10. Ah, oh, there you go. Makes sense. A classic. He said more truth than jokes. That's true of all comedians, obviously. <laughs> all of them tell the truth all the time. Yeah, before we wrap up, I did want to say the 11th one. Sure. <laughs> it's Betty White. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, though, that makes... She is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. She's so funny. Yeah. It's always funny when you live to get to 100. Wasn't she 99? Yeah, close enough. Didn't she like, get really <laughs> close and not make it to 100? That's her last bit. <laughs> <laughs> So those are the 10 funniest people of all time according to Ranker. Let us know who the 10 funniest people according to you are in the comments. And if you like this sort of thing, check us out on YouTube. Hive Mind. Bye. You guys tell me the top 10 most streamed best new artist winners at the Grammys. Okay, by monthly listeners? Correct. Okay, so currently... Oh, Nara Wick. <laughs> he didn't win? No. Ah. What about the first winner, Bobby Darren? Not there. Really? I just thought time would play... A factor there? <laughs> yeah, streams over time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Think. Yeah. Megan the Stallion? Not there. That is 12. Ooh. Did Eminem ever win this? No. Uh, Grant, how about Maroon 5? That's three. Wow. Three? <laughs> they stream like crazy. They have like radio hits every year. Is Dua Lipa here? That's number one. Number one. Let's go, Dua. Good for Dua. Did the Beatles win this? That's seven. Wow. That's <laughs> oh, that is crazy. <laughs> it has been around for a while. Think of a time where they were the best new artist, you know? Yeah, that's crazy to think about. That is awesome. And not really best new artist. Best new artists, four of them. <laughs> Three. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Ringo's not much of an artist. <laughs> it's kind of a prop comic. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won when Pete Best was still drumming for them. <laughs> I'm just assuming Metallica's on here, too. Not there. That's a ripoff. How about Billie Eilish? That's two. Oh, is that a Billy 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 dance? <laughs> no, it's like a getting the right answers dance. It's oh. Like a, no. I kind of like it if it's a Billy 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 dance. Um, speaking of Billy's, I'm not gonna guess Billy Joel. You were gonna guess Ray Cyrus. <laughs> no. I was thinking Billy Idol. <laughs> Billy Bass? Billy Bass. <laughs> yeah. Don't rock the boat, baby. Is Megan Trainer here? That is eight. 
Right behind the Beatles. Rightfully <laughs> <laughs> <Definitely> so. <laughs> she is all about that bass. Uh -huh. No treble. No. I'm going to assume with the Kim Petras song that Sam Smith is here. That's five. Yeah. Unholy. Yeah, true, 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 true. What about fun? Not there. They won it, though, right? Yeah, they did. <laughs> okay. Thank God. Right. <laughs> How about Bonnie Bear? Not there. That's 14. Mm, just a few behind Megan the Stallion. Cardi B? Not there. Did she win? I don't think she won. Okay. Oh, Olivia Rodrigo. That's four. Nice. Oh, Rod. Yeah. So we have one through five. Did Nirvana win? No. Uh, I'm trying to think of rappers who have won. In our lifetime, all I can think of is Chance the Rapper. Not there. Not there. Yeah, there's no way he has more monthly listeners than Megan Thee Stallion. Who won it last year? Samara Joy? Are they not, on the list? Not there. Uh, not even close. Like the most obscure person to ever win it, I think. Yeah. Not until I win it. We'll see. <laughs> I got a chance. <laughs> you have to release music first. My single's dropping this week. Go stream it. You want to give them the information of the single, or no. is it just... Oh, okay, they'll figure it out. You have to find it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of, but no clues. Ah, okay. Did one Republic ever win this? Not there. Okay. That's a... <laughs> oh, Ryan Tedder. I know. <laughs> name people the band. Um, the singer. Yeah. Uh, did Michael Jackson win? No. <laughs> Robbed? I don't know why Grant thought that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best artists of all time. Speaking of Ryan Tedder, how about Ryan Lewis and the rapper, the guy? Not there. Oh, Ooh. man. They did win, though. They Yeah, they won. Grant, show me Adele. That's six. Yes. Totally makes sense. These are for Adele. Uh, show me the super obvious Evanescence. Not there. Really? Wake me up inside. Wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me from this nothing. You're supposed to just do the save. I've been gone. It's going to the save me out. Wake him. up. Don't wake up inside. Say wake up. You're waking up and save me. <laughs> did I do the wrong part? Yeah, you did the wrong part. Uh oh. Grant, what about Nora Jones? Not there. <sighs> Gotta be a country artist here. Show me Zach Brown Band. Not there. ZBB ain't on this list, BB. Oh, got my toes in the water. A dick in the sand. Not a worry in the world, a cold dick in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> How about Esperanza Spaulding? Not there. Upright bass extraordinaire. <laughs> uh, show me voice of SpongeBob Tom Kenny. Not there. <laughs> Is Sade here, Grant? No, that's 15. Oh. Christina Aguilera. That's nine. Really? Yes. She has more monthly listeners than Megan Thee Stallion right now? That's crazy. Hey, good for Christina. She's like on The Voice, I think, or something. Yeah. Or was one of the coaches still, on The Voice. Still relevant. Yeah, totally. Now, I'm going to strike the perfect balance between Christina Aguilera and Megan Thee Stallion. Lauren Hill? Not there. Oh. That is 16. Now, I'm going to strike the perfect balance between The Beatles and Adele. Mm-hmm and go with the Beatles' lead singer, John Legend. Not there. <laughs> I'm going to guess like a good way to describe the Beatles. Show me Men at Work. Not there. Mm. Oh, was going to do another Beatles thing, but just show me Rascal Flats. <laughs> Not there. Man. Grant, is Usher on here? No. Ooh, show me the band Lifehouse. Not there. Good guess. Yeah, thanks. I feel like the Sheryl Crow. Not there. Oh. Ooh, how about Hoobastank? No. Oh, Okay. <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just thought we were done, you know. Oh, Shaggy. <laughs> Not there. Oh, that would have been sick. Yeah, especially <laughs> since I did that. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll try like an exit move too. Go ahead. How about D'Angelo? Not there. Did he win? Hope so. I hope so. Neo? No. Oh. Oh, Neo Young? No. <laughs> Old man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. Did Mariah Carey win this? That's 10. Oh, wow. It's just weird that Christina Aguilera has more monthly listeners than Mariah Carey. Oh, yeah. Just by this much. It's close. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that was an interesting list. If you like this sort of thing, check us out on YouTube. We're called Hive Mind. You guys tell me the 10 biggest box office debuts for movies ever. Oh, yeah. Opening weekends. Okay. 
I'll go first. Go. Avatar. Not there. The Last <laughs> Airbender. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, shoot. Star Wars! Which one? Episode three! Force Awakens? Yes. Yeah, that's the one he meant. That's one. <laughs> that's definitely the one he meant. That's four. <laughs> Booyakasha. Respect the duck. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I'm the duck. How about Avengers Infinity War? <laughs> that is three. Skin me. <laughs> Hello. John Wick Chapter 4. Not there. <laughs> How about the Unaliving Squad? Not there. Okay, I'm not allowed to say that one other yeah. word, so I was like, you know, the squad with mm. Margot Robbie and them in it. Mm -hmm. And other people. Show me Lewis Pullman's Top Gun, the new Top Gun. Not there. Really? I thought that movie made a trillion, bajillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. How about the other Avengers? Endgame is number one. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, Happy Feet. Not there. <laughs> really? <laughs> Show me its spiritual sibling, March of the Penguins. No. Really? Mm. Grown Ups 2, Revenge of the Spade? Not there. Oh, man. Uh, Grown Ups 3, Schneider's Last Stand? <laughs> not, not there. Really? Is Grown Ups 4, Sandler's Last Dance here? <laughs> no. Really? Wow, he did that crazy dance. Yeah. Oh, Grown Ups 5, We Will Chris Rock You? <laughs> no. Oh, man. We are skunking out. Return of the King, Lord of the Rings? Not there. That's... That's a, that's, that's. Hmm. Any Fast and Furious make it on here? No. Okay. There's 10 of them too, that's crazy. Is Iron Man on here? No. Oh, uh, Spider-Man. The, which one? Let me think. Through the Spider-Verse. Not that one. Spider-Man No Way Home? That's two. Number wow. two. Whoa. Good for 260 that. million first weekend. Ooh, uh, Minions, Rise of Gru. Not there. Really? Strong guess, though. Thanks. Ladies Ghostbuster? No. Ooh, Ocean's Ocho. No. How about the Dark Knight? Not there. What's the one, um, he's a doctor, but he's strange? Not there. Ah, okay. Shoot. What's that? Jazz hands? <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's got Chris Pat, his friend's a raccoon. Oh, um, oh yeah, um, Galactic <laughs> Gully Boys, yeah. buddy, buddy, buddy Stars. Uh, the Groot of All Evil. Is that what it's called? What is it called? Guardians of the Galaxy. There you go. Show me Guardians of the Galaxy. No. I'll bet for not. How about Captain Marvel? No. Okay. Captain America? No. Uh, Aquaman? <laughs> not there. Ant-Man? No. Oh, the Thor? Not there. Boom, the hammer guy? No. No? 80 for Brady? <laughs> no. Remember the Titans? Not there. Godfather Part 2? No. Forrest Gump. Mm-mm. Fantasia? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King? That's nine. <laughs> um, how about some X-Men? Not there. Show me Black Panther. That is eight. Mmm, nice. Ruth kind of forever. <laughs> <laughs> I got paid to say that. <laughs> it's, it's Wakanda. The Ruth kind is from that tweet. How about Ruth Gator, Bader Ginsburg? Rest her soul. Say it. Uh, yeah, rest her soul. Damn right, buddy. I'm actually very sad right now. I'm so sad to hear this news. I buried her on the golf course. I am so sad to hear about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She was a wonderful woman. Wonderful golfer, too. Only a three handicap. Is the first Avengers on here? The Avengers is seven. Wow. So there's Endgame, Infinity War, and the original are all in the top ten. We've done all these serious superhero movies. Is Deadpool on here? Not there. Ah, really? Ryan Reynolds, right? Yeah. He is disgustingly hot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were headed with that. <laughs> he is a filthy, grimy, beautiful specimen of a person. You've always said negative things about Ryan, so I'm just confused. You've decided... He is a slop of sex. <laughs> okay. Big blob of beauty. Sure. Uh, Ryan, I would clean you with a sponge. Free sponge bath, I guess. <laughs> is Rogue One here? Not there. What's that? It was a Star Wars movie. Oh, okay. Oh, duh. Herbie fully loaded. Not there. With Lindsay Lohan? <laughs> oh, load it and lock it and shoot it. I thought that would be in there. Yeah, I thought that would be in there for sure. How about Han Solo? Not there. Chris Pratt's got to sell tickets somehow. Do we got Jurassic World on here? That is six. Yeah. Oh, that was so bad. 
I didn't watch it. Atrocious. Seems like it'd be really good on surround sound. You if know what you I mean? If you were like heavily sedated, it might be good. But for like anybody with an IQ over 40, right? it's like, what? Doesn't everybody have an IQ in general? It doesn't matter how old you are. You might, you might like it. Okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> the Last Jedi? That's five. Mm. And what's that one? It's a Star Wars movie. Oh. Uh, Cars 2. Not there. Pirates of the Caribbean? Mm-mm. Green Lantern? No. That one did really bad, right? Probably. Seth Rogen's in it or something? <laughs> Flash. No. Hulk, The Incredible Hulk. Not there. Wolverine? No. Thanos' Last Snap? <laughs> no. Is that a movie? His last <laughs> what? Snap. Doesn't he snap? <laughs> snap chat? No, he snaps. Thanos snaps? <laughs> I've never seen the movies, but I've, I've, people always say, oh, the Thanos snap or something. It's going to be my last snap. I'm going to guess Gone Girl. <laughs> Not there. Captain Underpants? No. They made that a movie? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I'm just guessing superheroes. Entourage the movie's not here? No. Frontline COVID-19 workers? Not there. Again, just guessing superheroes. <laughs> um, I think we give up, right? I don't know. I don't know any more movies. I'm done. What is it? Avengers Age of Ultron. There's more Avengers. Five Avengers on there? Do you have an Endgame, Infinity War, the OG, and Age of Ultron? Ultron. That is like the dumbest name for a series. It doesn't matter. Anyway, those are the top 10 <laughs> biggest box office debuts for movies. And if you like this sort of content, check out Hivemind and Hivemind Unlimited on YouTube. Bye! You guys tell me the 10 deadliest sea creatures. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to go with the great white shark. That's four. Okay. I'm fine with that. Show me the Kraken. No. Like the liquor or? No, the giant ship sinking squid. <laughs> those exist. They did. They did, really? They had pictures of them. Uh, those are paintings, I feel like. Whatever, they didn't have cameras. Are you going to blame them? Show me Poseidon. <laughs> no. Really? How about the Loch Ness Monster? No. And it's a lake creature, I believe. A lock. Oh, it's in a lock, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Show me the snail. <laughs> no. Well, what? we did that. We did no. the snail. The snail that killed a bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> it's got like, yeah. a, like a million poison snail or something. It, like you eat it or whatever. I don't know. Some poison the water supply. <laughs> <laughs> a manta ray or stingray? That is six. Booyah. R.I.P. Irwin. Yeah, R.I.P. Steve. Carell. What? How about the electric eel? That's eight. The moray eel. Yes. Yeah, totally. Okay, yeah. That's that, what I meant to say. That's the yeah. eel one, yeah. Those are creepy. <laughs> yeah. They always <laughs> got that face on them. Yeah, they got that face on them. How do they make electricity? You know what I mean? I don't know if they do. They do. Oh, a lot. You ever seen one in the tank and it counts the volts? I feel like we should just capture those and kind of tank them with their electricity. Grant, show me a jellyfish. You got a specific jellyfish? A poisonous one. Come on. A big stinky one? The box jellyfish is number one. Exactly. <laughs> you think that we're going to know the names of jellyfish? Big stinky one. Show me the Amazon's favorite little mongrel, the piranha. Not there. Doesn't count as a C then. It's like, <laughs> probably killed a lot of people. I'm going to guess an orca. Not there. Killer whale isn't on the killer <laughs> no, list. No, no, no. They're they sinking ships left and right. They need to rename that docile whale, I think. That's a beluga. So cute. Oh, so cute. Ooh, um, how about lobster? <laughs> not there. Really? No. Is a clownfish on here? No, it's not. Aren't they poisonous or something? No, they live in anemones. Anemone. <laughs> <laughs> octopus. That is two, the blue ringed octopus. Yeah, yeah, that's the big guy. No. Oh, no, they're little. <laughs> right. <laughs> those it. things are little. Yeah. <laughs> those octopus, those those octopi, you'd think they're big, but they're not. They're little. Yeah. Show me the ironically named cuttlefish. No. They hypnotize their preys. Yeah, like Jigglypuff. Show me a lamprey. No. They are just little suckers. I dissected one in high school. Okay. Did you dissect a lamprey yeah, in high school? I didn't. Yeah, well, that makes one of us. Is a barracuda on here? Yeah, it is. It's nine. I don't think barracudas kill people. I think they might. Well, Ooh. obviously they kill something. Barracuda. Are you singing? That's not really. Are you singing the song, the, the heart song? Barracuda? Ooh. Barracuda. <laughs> there you go. That's a great song from Shrek. How about just a whale? Big whale. No. Big old blue whale. <laughs> no. Sperm whale. No. Is an urchin on here? A sea urchin? No. 
they do be poisonous. Yeah, it's just an urchin, by the way. It's not an urchin. Urchin. It's like an <laughs> urchin. It's, an, it's like an urgent problem if you're around an urchin. Don't do that. Don't mess with the plants. Okay. Please don't. Stop. See? Now look what you did. Sea monkey. Not there. That's weird. How about microplastics? <laughs> oh my God. Not there. This liberal crap has got to stop. I want to use what I want. Save our oceans. The paper straw is too flimsy. I need a good sucking mechanism. A good suck. I need a good Jeez. sucker. Jeez, man. I need something to really suck my coffee through. So, I'm sorry. Sorry, turtles. Speaking of turtles. Sorry, turtles. Turtles. No. Sea turtle. No? What about a stonefish? That's seven. Most toxic uh, nettles in the animal kingdom. It hurts as much as like apparently a million hornet stings or something. It can render you unconscious in seconds. Whoa. And they look like this. <laughs> oh, look cool. Hideous. I like that. Hammerhead shark. Not there. Mm. Mako shark. Not there. Whale shark. No. Tiger shark. That's fine. <laughs> oh. That's what they sound like. That's how they got their name. Idea for a Netflix show, Tiger Shark King. It's, we throw Joe Exotic to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> the cinder blocks tied to his legs. I don't know, show me a worm. <laughs> no, but pretty close. <laughs> pretty close? Yeah. Sea cucumber? Closer. A barnacle? No. <laughs> no never that's a plant. No, no, no. Okay. Sea pickle? No. No, mm, close. Um, <laughs> just an old sea cucumber. <laughs> oh, snake. That's ten. Water snake. What? Water snake, yeah. Sea snake. Sea snake? Well, I think water snake is less specific. I feel like we get to... Because like, the sea isn't the only type of water. <laughs> like a water snake could be like in a river or a canal <laughs> or a lake. Is a dolphin here? No. Ooh, a uh, bullfrog. No. <laughs> well, they can't. They can go underwater for a little bit. How about a sloth? <laughs> no. Pelican. Is it the giant squid? No. Is it an alligator? It's a saltwater crocodile. It's crocodile. Yes. Yeah, because they were in Peter Pan. <laughs> what, what do you mean because they were in Peter Pan? <laughs> because they're in the ocean in Peter Pan <laughs> and Captain Hook gets eaten up by one. That's Sorry for the spoiler, but... It's a long line to draw. <laughs> Not really. Oh, because they're in Peter Pan. Well, yeah, but like, you know, usually crocodiles are on Earth or on golf courses. And then now they, like, in that movie, it shows you that they can also be by boat Got in the it. ocean. Yeah. It totally makes sense to everybody watching. If you like this kind of stuff, check us out on YouTube. <laughs> you guys tell me the 10 best sandwiches according to Ranker. Hungry. Okay, sandwiches. <laughs> All right, you first. Reuben. That's nine. Yes. Wow, okay. Corned beef. I'm gonna start simple. Show me a grilled cheese. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the simple, the simple things in life. How about a club? That's two. Yes. I love the club. <laughs> Show me bacon, egg, and cheese. Not there. No breakfast sandwiches on here? No. How about a Cuban? That's ten. Let's go. <laughs> Cuban and Reuben. Yeah. <laughs> How about just a turkey sandwich? Not there. Really? What about a cheesesteak? That's three. Okay. Hope we got some nasty hogs out there who like this sort of thing. Show me a meatball sub. <laughs> That's seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> When I was a kid, though, that's all I would get at Subway. I would just get a meatball sub. <laughs> that is disgusting. Does a burger count as a sandwich? No, not on this list. Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? How about a Pop-Tart? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about, like, a pulled pork? Not there. How about, like, an Italian, like, an Italian one? That's four, the Italian sub. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Chicken salad? Not there. Mm. On a croissant, though? How about chicken salad for the teenage soul? <laughs> no, no not, not there. How about communion wafers in between two Bibles? <laughs> not there. Okay. I like the Bibles as buns. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. There's like a pastrami on here. Pastrami on rye. That's eight. Yes. Oh, really? Um, Is a po' boy on here? Not there. Mm. What about a lobster roll? Not there. Uh, how about syrup sandwiches and gram allowances? Not there. <laughs> Just trying to be humble. Uncrustables. Not there. Oh, peanut butter jelly, though. 
Not there. Whoa. Yeah, it's not really a sandwich. I've never had one, so I don't even know if it's good, but people really like it. <laughs> yeah. 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 What about a nice buffalo chicken sandwich? Not there. A Nashville hot? Not there. Uh, oh, how about a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> not there. <laughs> Man. What about a good French dip? That six. Oh, that okay. au jus. I do not know what that is. It's the dippy sauce. Oh, okay. <laughs> the... Now I got it. <laughs> Show me a cheesy gordita crunch. Not there. Really? Mm. Is that not a sandwich? Is that why? Whatever. Is it a BLT? That's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, BLT is so good. Yeah. <laughs> I love a BLT with egg and turkey and ground beef on it. Oh, so like, <laughs> <laughs> just adding a bunch or, of letters. Or like a BLT with roast beef and chicken and cheese and lettuce. <laughs> and extra lettuce. Yeah. Extra lettuce. And Cheerios. Oh. I like a BLGBTQIA+. <laughs> That's what I like. Uh, Grant, was number 11 money sandwich? No. Ah, okay. All right, well, this was fun. I'm, now I'm really hungry. Yes, so let yeah. us know your favorite sandwich down in the comments. And if you like stuff like this, check us out on YouTube. I might, or I might unlimited, honestly. You guys tell me the 10 musicians with the highest net worth. Oh, easily. All right, tell me the richest. JC. That's number one. Really? Bands got bands. Number one. More than Paul McCartney. That's three. See how I did that? It's a cool <laughs> transition. I'm getting good at this. Wait, Paul McCartney can't have more than Rihanna. That's number two. <laughs> right, yeah. That makes wow. sense, yeah. Four, five <laughs> seconds from Wilding. Oh, they really linked up on that one? Yeah, they sure. totally linked up. With Kanye West. Not there. Okay. Yeah, he fell off. You really can't sleep on uh, Elton John. Not there. Oh. You know who you really can't sleep on? Bruce Springsteen. Not there. <laughs> Show me Dolly Parton. That's 10. Good job. She got that amusement park, bro. That was raking cash. Yeah, totally. <laughs> 25 bucks for a popcorn? No, thank you. How about Dr. Dre? Not there. Ah, divorce. Is Beyonce here? No. Ah. How about Taylor Swift? Not there. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go left field. Sure. I'm gonna go outside chart toppers and I'm thinking Broadway. Interesting. Jesus Christ, superstar, fan of the opera. Yeah. Andrew Lloyd Webber. That's four. Good job. Broadway makes money. Yeah, it really does. He did not do Hamilton, though, so you still got a chance. Right. I guess I'll take your cue and guess Lynn manuel Miranda. Not there. Thanks for leading me astray. My bad. You got to be rich to be a philanthropist. Show me Bono. That's nine. Yes. See, I thought he'd given it all away. Give it away, give it away, give, give it, it away, away now. now. Thought about guessing Flea, but yeah, <laughs> no. He's still like taking extra roles in movies, so. <laughs> ah, technical question. I mean, shouldn't Elon Musk be on here? Because he released Don't Doubt Your Vibe. Not there. <laughs> don't, well, he would be number one, obviously. Right. Yeah, Don't Doubt Your Vibe. Is Cher on here? No. Is Mariah Carey here? Not there. Mm. I'm going to keep it old lady, though. Sure. Celine Dion. That's eight. Grant, show me the wickedly talented Adele Dazeen. Not there. <laughs> Adia Menzel is not there? No. Okay, all right. Show me Robert Plant. Not there. How about Mick Jagger? Not there. Is Willie Nelson here? No. How about Ringo? Not there. Paul really got the chief cut over there. Yeah. Sketchers ain't really paying that much. <laughs> it's not. Is like Bonnie Raitt on here? No. Oh, Diddy's got to be on here. Yeah, that's five. Oh, yeah, okay. Sean Combs. Puff Daddy. Madonna stuns a new selfie. That's six. That's... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. It's the second time on a TikTok that you've done that exact bit. So. I love it. Yeah. It's too good. She looks crazy, man. I you can say it. It's not like that bad. I mean, she's just old. It's a special kind of old. Yeah. It's, it's like a, an old soup. It's a rich old. <laughs> yeah, it's disturbing. Show me former coach on The Voice, CeeLo Green. Not there. How do you afford all that gold to wear? Yeah, I don't know. Steven Tyler. <laughs> Not there. Oh, the Aerosmith fame. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my own. Oh, what the hell? Ice Spice. Not there. What? You overlooked a very obvious one. Who? It's in the name. Bankroll Hayden. <laughs> not there. Really? Bankroll. And he spells it like that because he's only ever taken one L. Yeah. Which is just powerful. And you know what he did with that L? He turned it into a W, and W stands for Will Smith. Not there. 
That's confusing because he's not just a musician. He's so many other things. That's true. He's a father. <laughs> first, most and first and foremost. <laughs> yes. And a poly husband. Show me the founder of the Tijuana Brass Band, Herb Albert. That's seven. Really? You get some money if you win 99 Grammys. <laughs> oh, yeah. He probably sold all the Grammys or melted them down. Turned them into bullets and killed rich people and took their money. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, those are the 10 richest musicians. Let us know who you think deserves more money. Bankrolls next. In the comments. <laughs> Check us out on YouTube. We're called Hive Mind. You guys tell me the 10 most famous Nicks or Nicholases according to Ranker. Oh, okay. Famous Nicks. Okay. Start. Nick Saban. That's nine. Really? Greatest football coach of all time, man. Yeah, okay. He tried to recruit me, but I didn't like his attitude. Carmelo Anthony? <laughs> Not there. Oh, no, their name's Nick. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I was going Walt Frazier if we were going down that road. Right, far. totally, <laughs> totally. Okay. Patrick Ewing? <laughs> all right, then I will go with Nicolas Cage. That's number one. Yes. Oh, boy. Nick Cannon? That's six. Okay. Okay. Uh, show me Nick Offerman. That's three. Yes. Ron mm -hmm. Swanson. Yeah. Okay. No. He doesn't feel like a Nick. You know what I mean? No. Like when you look at him, it's not like that's Nick. It's Nick Offerman. That's true. He's a full name fellow. <laughs> yeah. And a woodworker. I'm going outside of Hollywood here. Sure. I'm going way back, back, back. Yeah. I'm going electricity. Okay. Are you with me? No. Is Nikola Tesla here? That's five. Oh, that counts in this one. That's Nick. Yeah, okay. They call him Nick. Tricky Nick. I'm going to go back even further. What the? Show me St. Nick. Not there. Hmm. Really? Old St. Nick up on the rooftop. Click, click, click. Nick Nolte? That's seven. Oh, Nick Nolte. He's kind of ugly. Yeah. Hey, that's, some people say it. That's I, a yeah. fun thing about him. He's kind of like a, ooh, an old catcher's mitt. Yeah, <laughs> I don't judge. Catcher. I don't judge. He's like a grimace human. Hey, if you like seeing us guess these names, we have a full video up on our YouTube. The name game. Playing 10 in a row with rules and everything. It's super fun. Check out our YouTube. Is Nick Swartzen here? No. Mm. Oh, okay. Comedian, right? Yeah, stand-up comedian. Is, is, is his first name Nick? I think so. Okay. I'm gonna... Boyish, right? Yeah, a bit. Yeah. What else are we working with here? Actors, what else? Russian dictator. The Russian dictator? How, is it way, 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 way back? Yeah. Is it like the name plus a number? Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to try and get the number. <laughs> okay. Um, show me uh, Nick the Fourth. Nicholas the Fourth. No. I'm not even going to try on that one. I'm gonna, don't worry, I'll nail that one down. <laughs> yeah. Um, is Nick Drake here? No. Good guess. Oh, RIP. Absolutely. One of the goats. Nicholas the First. No. I'll get it. Don't worry. I'll get it. <laughs> we'll let you keep doing that. <laughs> yep. Okay. You work on that project. I got to work on the other one. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Oh, Nick Jonas. That's two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that heart throbbing? Mm -hmm. Your heart throbbing. My heart throbbing. Throbbing. Yeah, he's yeah. the heart throb. I see that. Yeah, he's the heart throb of the group. Show you know me, Nicholas, the second. <laughs> That's eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm assuming he was evil. Yeah. Like bad, bad guy or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll never he know. He was a dictator, so. Okay. Show me Nick Elodian. Not there. <laughs> hmm. Show me the guy from Skins, Nicholas Holt. That's four. That's where I know him from. Oh. He's the dude. He's a. Uh, uh, I can't remember his character's name now. Tony? Yeah! He's Tony. 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 He's Tony from Skins, Nicholas Holt. Uh, show me renowned commentary YouTuber, Nick is not green. <laughs> not there. No, oh. really? Okay, I was ready to get up off the chair. Yeah, me too. too. I, was, I thought we were done. standing up. <laughs> we were done yeah. um, Good guy, though. Love yeah. that guy. Nice guy. Good head of hair. He's a pretty boy. Show me legal name of famed producer, internet boy, Nick Garber. Not there. Oh, Ooh, okay. That seems like a robbery. Uh, show me kid I went to high school with who had a basketball court in his house, Nick Johnson. Not there. Oh, Nick Johnson. He was short, but he could play. He was Rich. a little, he was a savvy little point guard. Nice. Uh, quick, low dribble. Yeah, low dribble, yeah. quick, and kind of a trick shot master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody named Nick Sapphire? Not there. Ooh, because that sounds, that sounds cool. <laughs> that sounds like real, like if. Sounds like a future news host or something. Yeah, I like Hello, that. Hello, it's Nick Sapphire, and I'm here to rock your world. Yeah. <laughs> something, something like that, yeah. How about Nick a teen? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that, that guy's famous as hell. Yeah. And so young. Everybody loves that guy. <laughs> Not even 20 yet, either. Yeah. He's a teen. 
<laughs> I love when you got to catch up to my pun. That is a like big satisfaction for me here on this channel. I have mine. Shot in the dark here, Grant. Show me founding member of Pink Floyd and the only member to play on all of their studio albums, Nick Mason. <laughs> That's 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> What? Where did you? How do you have this information? I channeled it. I'm a vessel of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is the 10 most famous Nicks. Let us know what name to do next. You guys tell me the seven most famous Jerry's. Yes. Oh, I think we can. I'll start. Jerry Seinfeld. That's one. Oh, yeah. Jerry Lee Lewis. That's four. Okay. Jerry Springer. That is three. Okay. That's about it for my Jerry. Show me, uh, Ben's Jerry, Ben and Jerry's, the <laughs> ice cream. Not there. Really? That's wild. How about uh, Tom's Jerry, Tom and Jerry? <laughs> Tom, I don't know which one, the mouse or the cat. Not there. Is it Jeremy on here? No. Jeremy's got to be its own name, huh? You were thinking Renner? I was thinking Jeremy Allen Wade. Whoa, I don't even know who that is. The bear. Yes, chef. Say it. Oh, that guy. I've seen him all over the place. He's, He's like ugly hot or whatever. He's hot. Show me the inventor of wild rice, Jerry Rice. That's five. Oh, yes. Shares a name with 49ers wide receiver, I believe. Who? Jerry Rice. He's like maybe the best wide receiver of all time. Never heard of him. Oh, okay. Terrell Owens in my book. Uh, show me Jerry Mandering. Not there. More of a concept. More of a, yeah. Okay. Oh, show me Jerry Maguire. Not there. Oh, oh really? That's Mark Maguire's brother, right? No. Oh. He's the guy who dances around in a robe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just take the bow records oh, off the shelf. Does Gerald Ford count? No. I don't know if he went by Jerry or anything, but... Driving that train. Hey, hi on... Whoa, ho, ho. I'm not going to say it. Show me Jerry Garcia. That's two. Ah, <clears throat> John Mayer's boss. <laughs> He's going to be understudy. His guardian angel. Yes. Show me the bat wiggler, Jerry Sheffield. Not there. <laughs> Shoot. Scary, but sure. Just depends how you pronounce uh, it, you know. Jerry Oldman. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, show me George Costanza's dad, Jerry Stiller. Boom, that's six. Yes. Oh, Jerry Stiller, yeah. R.I.P. Yep. Oh, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld and Jerry Stiller. How about that? Yeah. Show me guy on the NBA logo, Jerry West. Not mm. there. That's crazy. That is kind of strange. He should really be on there. That is nine. That's number nine. Ah. Okay. Is Kieran McCulkin's cougar interest from Succession Jerry here? No. Huh? Mm. A girl Jerry, you know. Yeah. Oh, show me Jerry Pie. Not there. She's my Jerry Pie. Um, last guess here is uh, Jerry Duty on the list. No. <laughs> and last guess for me, Jerry Potter. No. <laughs> ah. Okay, we're going to throw in the towel. Who's the last guy? Jerry Lynn or Jeremy Lynn. Jeremy Lynn. The basketball? Lynn Sanity? No, he's a wrestler. There's a wrestler named Jeremy Lynn? Yeah. That went by Jerry? Jerry Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it either, but uh, tell us what name to do next. And there's a full episode of this on YouTube, The Name Game, Hive Mind. Look it up. Tell you. Just tell me the seven most famous Richard or Rickies, according to Ranker. Oh, yeah. Richards or Rickies? Let me start this one off. Yeah, go for it. Dick Cheney. Not there. Hmm. A little interesting. Mm -hmm. Is Richard Dreyfus here? No. Okay. Show me Richard Gere. That is number five. <sighs> How about Ricky Gervais? That's number one. Nice, Riley. British guy. He's British. He is British. And you wouldn't know it. Is Richard Branson on the list? No. That's surprising. Yeah. Spaceman. How about all-time stolen base leader Ricky Henderson? Not there. Wow. Show me the man in orange on Sundays, Ricky Fowler. Not there. How about my favorite designer, Ricky Owens? <laughs> Not there. I got the Rickies on. I can't afford his stuff. I was joking about him being my favorite designer. Grant, is Richard Pryor on the list? That's three. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy that Ricky Gervais is number one and Richard Pryor's number three. Yeah, a lot of time's passed. <laughs> a lot of time has passed. Grant, show me Rich the Kid. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Great new song out now. Though. Out now, go stream it. Never change. Never change. Rich the Kid. It sounds like we're joking, but we're not. Trickle me down, show me Richard Dixon. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> trickle me down, Tricky Dick. That's what they call them. Wasn't it Ronald Reagan trickle <laughs> down? Tricky Dick trickled down the whatever. Each Watergate. Who knows, man? He wasn't alive. The Vietnam. I don't know. Grant, show me Richard Reagan. 
Okay. Actually, show me Richard Jefferson. Not there. <laughs> That's a bummer. He is a pretty bald guy. Yeah. You don't see a lot of them. Ricky Rubio? That's seven. Ricky Rubio. <laughs> International basketball players have like a special kind of fame. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, like all of Spain loves Ricky Rubio. Him and Paul <laughs> Pau Gasol, they're yeah. like heroes. <laughs> uh, Grant, show me the Drake in Twenty One Savage song, Rich Flex. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not there. Who's the number one song? Rich Flex isn't on here. I, that's crazy to me. Yeah, Richard Flex. Grant, show me one of the OG Flexers, Richard Burton. That's two. Yes. Is that Tim Burton's brother or something? Something like that. Okay. Deep voice. Grant, show me Little Richard. Oh. <laughs> Not there. Really? What was his real name? Maybe it wasn't even Richard. Um, is Richard Millie on here? The watch guy? <laughs> no. Really? I mean, he seems pretty famous. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's yeah. probably dead, too. All right, we're calling it. We give up, Grant. <laughs> Who's the last person? Six is Richard Thompson. Ah. Uh, don't know who he is. Duh. Who do I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's know what name to do next. Uh, More like this on YouTube, by the way. Guys, tell me the 10 most famous actors in the world right now. Ooh, right now. Go ahead. Most famous actors right now. Show me Tom Holland. Not there. <laughs> okay, interesting. He's too small. Yeah. Can I do a twofer? I mean, what? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. That's seven. Yeah, hot. <laughs> now, some would be tempted to do another Hemsworth here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's five. Four guys more famous than Dwayne right now? This was my other uh, one for the two first. Show me the other Chris. Chris Evans. Not there. Chris Evans isn't there. I'll stay on the Chris train. Go. Chris Pratt. Not there. So oh, good looking and very, not that talented. Very good looking, not super talented, was funny on Parks and Rec, <sighs> seems to be a Republican. Oh, speaking of Parks and Rec, is Aziz Ansari on here? No. Mmm, that seems odd, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah. It just makes Terrible total, actor. Makes total sense. Yeah. Who would cast their parents in their own show? Is Kevin Hart on here? No. <laughs> he does a lot of movies. He I don't, does. He, I don't know. Uh, let's keep it in the heart throbs, uh, Pedro Pascal. That's three. Yeah. Oh. He is so, man, he is hot, hot, hot right now. Yeah. Uh, shall we Chief Hopper, David Harbour? <laughs> Not there. I don't know. Just thinking Netflix. Right, right. <laughs> Just thinking of Netflix, you know. Leonardo DiCaprio. That's two. I love saying his name. Oh, then I know number one. Will Ferrell. Not there. <laughs> oh, man. I am <laughs> off today, guys. I do not know. Mark Wahlberg here? No. Yeah. Stay prayed up. Brad Pitt. No. Robert Downey Jr. That's number one. Number one. Really? What if, it's almost like, what have you done for me lately? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Iron Man. Ten years ago, yeah. Yeah. Grant, uh, show me Abel Tesfe, better known as The Weeknd. <laughs> Not there. Dead the Rose. Have you seen The Idol? <laughs> he's got Biggest a big show. Yeah, he's got a big fat tongue, too. Yeah, he, he's got a big fat tongue. Give me a hint, Grant. Um, Big court case. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter. No. Oh! <laughs> wow. Interesting. I know he got a bunch of weapons charges. That's why I guess that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He had that stick on him. And Damn. it wasn't a wand. Public indecency as well. Yeah. At the same time, yeah, he, he was, was wielding. Yeah. That's what they say. He also, in an interview, once said that he has a hamster penis. Tiny little penis. It yeah. looks like a hamster or it's the size of a hamster's. Gotta ask Daniel. Don't right. ask me. Grant, show me Ryan Reynolds. That's 10. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Deadpool owns a soccer team with Mac from Always Sunny. Really popping off right now, yeah. That's going to get you on the list. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Chuck. That was Dane Cook. That's who I, was, yeah, I always get that mixed up. <laughs> Just Dane Cook. No. Okay. Show me Daniel Day-Lewis. Not there. Wow. Mm. What about Tom Cruise? Not there. How about Johnny Depp? That's four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How about Clooney? No. George Clooney. No. <laughs> no? Casamigos? No. Um, <sighs> Timothy Chalamet? That's nine. Mm. Surprised it took us so long. I guess Tom Holland, his uglier counterpart. Yeah. Couldn't think of Timmy. Oh, show me Matthew Broderick. Not there. What? He had his big day off. Yeah, Ferris Bueller's big day off. 
Is Morgan Freeman still alive? That's number eight. Cool. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't keep up with the celebrity gossip. Right, right. I don't know who's alive, who's passed. And to me, this big thing always keeps going on. No matter, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How about Denzel Washington? Not there. Oh, really? How about our next president, Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Not there. Baloney. This one's a little weird because, eh, I don't know. He was in Cats. Give me James Corden. Not there. <laughs> Shoot. Um, give me his uglier counterpart, Frank Caliendo. Not there. Ah, he's great at impressions, though. Well, this one's kind of weird, but uh, he was in Cats. Show me Jason Derulo. Mm. Not there. Show me Will the Till Smith. That's six. Oh, mm. yeah, Will Smith. Yeah. Did you know that he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars? That's what I'm saying. I'm not really up on the gossip. I did not. It just happened. Was he good? It's up for debate. Some people say that it was completely unacceptable. Was he good at the slap, though? Was it a good slap? Oh, it was a good slap. Nice. Some say it was the slap heard around the world. Wow. Didn't make it to my ears. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next one. You guys tell me the 10 most famous actresses in the world right now, according to Ranker. Okay, actresses. I'll start. Go ahead. Meryl Streep. Not there. Really? So this is like right now, right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Audrey Hepburn's not going to be here. Correct. <laughs> was that, that, was, was that, that a half guess? guess. A half guess. <laughs> okay. uh, Get a full guess. Up. Show me Zendaya. That's five. Okay. Oh, number five. Okay. Rightfully placed. Sure. Is Scarlett Johansson on here? That's number one. Oh, yeah. Show me Angelina Jolie. That's eight. Ooh, still That's hanging on. Hanging on, yeah. Would have been four probably five years ago. Yeah. How about Margot Robbie? That's three. I am really near yeah, the top good. of the list here. Show me Emma Watson. That's two. Oh, yeah. She's mega famous, dude. Harry Potter was huge. Yeah, Hermione. Her <laughs> mm -hmm. Big success, those movies. Bad, bad writer. What about his Hermione? <laughs> don't don't I, go down this road. I'm just going to say, what about his Hermione? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. That's four. Yeah. Oh, wow. We are good at this. Yeah. Show me another Jennifer. Aniston. That's ten. Bang! How about Miss Anne Hathaway? That's seven. Duh, of course. She's there. Princess Diaries. Um, Sharon Stone. Not there. What the? That's weird. Lily Rose Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Only three episodes in. Three episodes in. Working her way had, up had, now. Just had to, had to guess. Um, I'm walking off set if Viola Davis is not here. Not there. Okay. <laughs> that's a wrong yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. Show me Showtime Sweeney. Not the hair. <laughs> no Sydney Sweeney. No. Huh? Wow. Oh, jeez. If it were most three-pointers made one and a half this season. <laughs> yeah. <yes>. 13. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Grant, give me a little hint. She was the highest paid actress in the world in 2017. Is Kate Winslet here? No. Oh. What about Mila Kunis? Not there. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Kate and Kate equals H. I mean, Kate Blanchett. Not there. Baloney. Yeah. How about Sofia Vergara? Not there. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Brilliant woman. I feel like there's a Natalie we're forgetting, but... Oh, there is. Uh, maybe a Natalie Portman? Not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not now. Yeah, no. Not this moment. Had her moment, though. Oh, absolutely. Had her day. Uh, Miranda Cosgrove make the list? <laughs> <laughs> not there. I don't like the laughter there. I don't think you guys should have laughed. <laughs> What's up, Miranda? Shout out to you. Um, Grant, I will take another hint. She is a sister to famous twin actresses. Elizabeth Olsen? That's nine. Yeah. yeah. She is, she's great. Yeah, she's really good. I didn't know she was related. That's kind of mind-boggling. You it's didn't kind, know that? It's kind of an Emilio Estevez situation, <laughs> except her name's very similar. Same still, last yeah, name. Same name, same yeah. name. It looks similar. Kind of an Emilio Estevez situation. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, my, I don't know. Martin Sheen? Hello. Okay. <laughs> oh, duh. Show me Molly Ringwald. Not there. <laughs> I had a bad case of Molly Ringwald when I tried the wrestling team one year. Oh, yeah. It was ooh, infectious. <laughs> um, show me a close personal friend of mine, Tiffany Haddish. Not there. Millie Bobby Brown. Not there. Oh, I thought that was for sure it. Mm. Oh, guess her older friend who's in that, who's in the same show. Ooh, uh, yeah, isn't it her, like, stepmommy, Winona Ryder here? Not there. Mm, Jennifer Garner? Not there. Melissa McCarthy? No. Jessica Alba? Not there. 
Emma Stone. That's six. Oh, thank you, Miss Stone. Thank you. Yes. So sorry, it took so long. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's ten most famous actresses according to Ranker. See you in the next one. You guys tell me the ten very best snacks to eat between meals. This is according to Ranker as well, I assume. Correct. Okay. Between meals. So, not super filling. <laughs> so, I'm to tide you over. I love it. I love how specific they get. Start it off, Riley. I'm going to start with pretzels. Not there. Really? That, that seems, yeah, it seems, seems like, like a good one, right? Yeah. Um, show me granola bar. Not there. Okay. Crackers. Not there. <laughs> pizza cold pizza. Not there. Um, summer sausage. No. Cereal bowl. No. Come on. Show me cheese. No. A salad. No. Pickle. No. What? What's here? That's all the food groups. <laughs> uh, piece of toast. No. What is this? What are we doing right now? Yeah. <laughs> Egg. No. Smoothie. No. Oh, oh, we are in bad. <laughs> We're in bad shape. How about cookie? Chocolate chip cookies one. Oh, okay. Chocolate chip cookie. That's not a good idea. No, it's not. In between meals? That's <laughs> dessert. Donut? Not there. Chocolate bar? That's seven. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Show me a brownie? Not there. Okay, great. What's the theme here? <laughs> Ice cream. That's five. <laughs> um, cigarettes? <laughs> Not there. Yeah, well, invalid list then. Yeah. That, that doesn't make no any sense. sense. Yeah. Pop tart. Not there. <laughs> okay. Cheesecake? Not there. Waffle. No. Stone. No. Twizzler. Or <laughs> li licorice. <laughs> no. Sorry. No. Cupcake. No. Bag of chips. Blaze. No. Doritos. No. Fritos. No. Salsa. Chips and salsa. That's six. Yes. Oh. That's actually a good one. Yeah, that's good. Juicy steak. Not there. Mm. Uh, p p p piece of passion fruit. <laughs> no. Uh, Dang it. Uh, what? Oh, uh, fruit. I'll tell you, yeah, that's two. Oh, two okay. is fruit. Oh, okay, okay cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's that stuff like? Uh, Oatmeal. It, no, you dip, a, you dip like a Frito in it. It's like a ranch kind Bean of. dip. No, it's like more of a. Mexicali sauce? No, it's or like a. Dip? Uh, it's like a creamy kind of ranch. Like a, oh, the a French onion chip dip. <laughs> Not there. Mm, that stuff's good. Yeah, that stuff is really good. <laughs> Rice cake. Not there. Whipped cream? No. Right out of a can. On though. its own? Yeah. <gasps> Get to the end, do a little whip it, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. How about avocado or guacamole? Not there. Beans? No. There's no beans on the list at all. Mm -mm. That's I mean beans are a perfect image. Yeah, they are perfect. Girl Scout cookie. No. Oh, I guess I already guessed cookie, so. Paint chips. No. <sighs> I love a good paint chip. Yeah, me too. Raisins. No. Potatoes. French fry. That's four. Oh. <laughs> this is a very unhealthy people voting on. This, <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> well, dinner's in a few hours. Do you want to have some chips and salsa and a chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> Fudge. Not there. Bowl of fudge. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, ribs? No. <laughs> I miss ribs, man. Uh, can of tuna? No. Sardines? Canned mm. fish of any kind? No. No anchovies, <laughs> no. sardines? No. 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 How about a good book? <laughs> Not there. No. Snack pack? Not there. Uh, that's pudding, if that helps. Is pudding on there? Mm -mm. Is jello on there? Gelatin? No. Old fashioned kettle corn? Or is it popcorn in that, general? That's three. Mm. I'd prefer kettle corn, but. Really? Ew. You're ew. And don't look at me like that again. Kettle corn is snap, snap, snap your fingers good. I do not like it. It's like this good. Yeah, I like uh, movie theater butter popcorn. Mm -hmm. Extra butter. How about Oreos? That's 10. What the heck? What are people doing? Show me a bunch of nuts. <laughs> no. How about cucumbers? Vegetables. No. Vegetable Veg platter. Vegetable peppers. <laughs> no. Maybe a hummus. No. Hmm? Oh, hummus would be such a good one. Yeah, hummus is great. Toothpaste. <laughs> no. 
Beef jerky? No. Your uncle's homemade jerky? No. Are you kidding me? No. Pork rinds? Your uncle's homemade pork rinds? No. Maybe your uncle's homemade smoked fish? White yeah. fish? No. What? Clodbin? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Well, that's not there. Xanax has to be? No. No. Okay. Okay. I was getting nervous before I eat. Oh, it. maybe it's not. Okay. Ritalin? Nah. No. Suppress the appetite. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> try to eat on that stuff. You'll take one bite and go, I got to work on something. <laughs> Let me go back to my childhood. A uh, bunch of chapstick? No. Mm. How many are we missing? Eight and nine. Uh, whatever's left in the microwave, scrape it out. <laughs> kind of. Really? Chili? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grease? Uh, what, what, what do you mean that kind of? Uh, I got it, I think. You put it in the microwave. Show me like leftovers? No. Or like leftover soup? <laughs> it's not soup? Stew? Nope. <laughs> um, there's uh, there's one specific fruit, and then one microwavable creation. How about uh, show me that ramen? No. Uh, lean cuisine? Oh no 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 hot pocket. No. Lean pocket? No. One specific fruit? A banana? No. Apple? No. I thought fruit was second. How are we still? <laughs> yeah, it was. This was this was eight. <laughs> it's jackfruit. No, I'm not guessing Jack, Jack, okay. fruit. Um, I'll guess something more like basic. Show me a yucca, fried yuccas. No. Mm. Grapes? No. Strawberries? That's a strawberries. Strawberries. That's weird. Like apple and banana are like obvious, yeah. like tied your appetite till dinner. Yeah, sort of honey, stuff. get some sour strawberries and you're getting hungry. Dinner's not going to be done for a few hours. That's, <laughs> that's like if you want a treat. You yeah, have some strawberries. Weird. I don't know. All right, so this one's a microwave thing. Or an oven thing, depending on how you do it. Lasagna? <laughs> no. Is it a frozen pizza? No. Is it like SpaghettiOs? Mm-mm. What the? Who puts I mean, a can of SpaghettiOs in the oven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother, my brother did, did, and he almost burned down our house when he did it. It's a kind of pasta? No. It's like a pasta, though? No. Does it got noodles, though? No. Rice? No. Is rice in it? Nope. It's like mac and cheese, but it's not noodles so what's the other part of it cheese. we already yes cheese. okay well okay. cheese guess flat cheese yeah now involve cheese with another another thing ew grilled cheese <laughs> no you sprinkle it on top nachos yes yeah, <laughs> no y'all are psychopaths if you're a part of that list you should get off the internet <laughs> eats other things yeah they eat other things i don't know what i'm sorry it's all right there's wow. more stuff kind of like this over on youtube <laughs> yeah i'm hungry <laughs> tell me the 10 most famous marks oh yeah definitely start them off mark Wahlberg. that's number one <laughs> yeah yeah show me lead singer of dire straits mark knopfler not there that's surprising i thought that would have been number two we got the sultans <laughs> of swing <laughs> <laughs> they do putting on the ritz too no Okay. Show me Zuckerberg. That's four. Four. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is hella, hella paid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, show me number two. Baseball legend Mark McGuire. Not there. Oh, I know. This is no seem... Riley. Get it together, man. I, it seems right, doesn't it? No, oh. it doesn't. All right, whatever. Is Mark Hamill on the list? That's three. Thank you. Oh, the number two uh, Uptown Funk Me Up. How about Mark Ronson? Not there. You know, I thought this <laughs> one was going to be an easy one. And it seems like you're doing the heavy lifting for me. Mm -hmm. Is Mark Cuban here? That's eight. Shark Tank. I've got a lot of ideas for that guy if I've ever mm -hmm. met him. <laughs> it's a microwave that also freezes stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. You should write that down. Thanks, Doug. Oh, show me Ohio State basketball player Mark Loving. Not there. He went to my high school. Nice guy. Really, really nice guy. Ruffalo! <laughs> That's two. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I love him. Me too, man. He's so awesome. So underrated. Should have never been the Hulk, but... Zodiac, though. Yeah. Oh, show me Cavs legend to Mark Price. Not there. What are you doing, Riley? I'm just guessing the marks that I know. I thought they would all be here. I thought we'd finish the list by now. Show me alcoholic Mark Twain. That's five. Okay. Never heard of him. Not surprised. He should be on the Samuel list. His name is Samuel Langhorn Clemens. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be on the Mark list. Huh? Grant, show me self-absorbed fashion designer Mark Jacobs. Not there. Grant, show me Mark Strong. That's six. 
how are you getting all these? I feel like I'm like right on the money with my guesses and <sighs> nothing is shown. Sorry. Grant, show me the Chicago Cubs' very own Mark Grace. Not there. Really? <laughs> I, you know, something is up. Something is up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> show me a K-pop star by the name Mark Lee. <laughs> that is seven. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How did this slip this far? Markiplier. Not there. That's not, is that no, not, not his name? Or? Uh, I think his name is Mark, but it's not there. <laughs> Markiplier. Not on the not list. list. Not oh on the list. Oh my gosh. Show me the West Wing's sexiest secret service, Mark Harmon. That's nine. Yeah. You are just killing this, dude. Yeah, he's hot. Good for you. Thanks, man. Uh-huh. Grant, show me strongest man alive, Mark Henry. Not there. <sighs> Grant, show me the last one, Mark Howie. That is 10. I, you are know your marks, <laughs> man. You hit all your marks, and I got none right. That is scary. <laughs> yep. Hey, check it out. There's more stuff like this over on YouTube. Well, let us know what name to do next. <laughs> you guys tell me the 10 most famous athletes in the world right now. Easy. Oh, definitely. What's up, nerd sesh? Watch, watch this. It's your daddies. <laughs> uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. That is number one. All right. Show me Lionel Messi. That's two. Michael Jordan. And three. LeBron James. And four. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> I thought we were about to go on a new one. Right yeah. All right. Show me Tom Brady. That's eight. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Mm, that's my new laugh. I'm debuting it. Nice. Yeah. Uh, show me Tiger Woods. Not there. That's. Relax. I know. It's okay. <laughs> it's a kids show. I get it. It's okay. Tony Hawk. Not there. <laughs> what? You're laughing because he's not an athlete. Exactly. He's a father. <laughs> First and foremost. Yeah. Um, show me Sue Bird. Not there. Okay. Show me Michael Tyson. Not there. <laughs> um, show me Steph Curry. That's nine. Damn right it is. Is Kobe Bryant on here? No. Okay, RIP Kobe. Absolutely. Show me John Cena. That's ten. No, it's not. That was a joke. That was a total joke. He's not an athlete. Uh, he's a performer. He's, he's a great just performer. ripped. Yeah. You thought we weren't going to get that one, Grant. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> Wow, that's fantastic. That's that is so cool. <laughs> Show me Usain Bolt. That's five. Wow. One fast MF. I'm just there. thinking about the world, you know? Yeah. People are like, that guy's fast. I think he lost a lot of money in crypto, too, so that makes two of us. Show me Michael P. Helps. No. <laughs> Not there. That is so funny. He is an, he's like the most decorated Olympian of all time. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. Nothing's funny about that. Jeff Gordon. No. <laughs> Not there. Um, is Mbappe on there? No, but close. French? Same team. Ooh, okay. Uh, show me Seabiscuit. <laughs> A horse. Toby Maguire's horse, no. Seabiscuit. Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Not there. <sighs> Does Zendaya count? <laughs> That's my actual guess. Not there. Okay. Shoot. Novak Djokovic? Not there. Roger Federer. That's six. Rafael Nadal? No. I guess if John Cena counts, can I guess Pete Davidson? <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Huge. Huge. Wingspan. Wingspan. <laughs> well, absolutely. Dangling arms. Yeah. Him. <laughs> Could windmill dunk if he was way more athletic, I, yeah. I believe. Um, what team is that, Grant? PSG. Ronaldinho? <laughs> He's retired. <laughs> is it the, I only remember this from our video with Quadeca. Is it the other Ronaldo? Because mm -mm. isn't he like, he's also, yeah, he's like a Brazilian guy. Oh, is it Neymar? It is Neymar at seven. How would you know that? He's sexy. <laughs> okay. I don't, okay. Whatever. He's got a rock hard set of abs. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Good hair. All right. Well, those are the 10 most famous athletes in the world right now. I got robbed. <laughs> More like this on YouTube. See what I mean? <laughs> you guys tell me the 10 best Cleveland Cavaliers players of all time. Thank you, Grant. Yes. <laughs> Two Ohio boys. We definitely can. Absolutely. All right, you start. All right, let's go with the obvious one here Larry Nance. That's five. Okay. Grant, show me Mark Price. 
That's three. Martin Price had a strap on him before it was legal to carry firearms in Ohio. Um, (laughs) Ooh-wee, ooh-wee, show me NASCAR legend and former Cleveland Cavaliers power forward Brad Dartry. Dartry. That's six. (laughs) I'm trouble with the last name, but, you know. Yeah. Joey Big Z, Zidrin Sogalskis. That's seven. Um, I think Kevin Love's here. That's four. Yeah. Okay. Gonna go with another obvious one, Booby Gibson. <laughs> Not there. Shoot it, Booby! <laughs> Shoot it! Come on. Let's stay kind of in that era, maybe just a few years before. Carlos Booze Cruise Boozer. Not there. What the heck? The Booze Cruise thing? <laughs> Uh, some would argue this one, but show me Sean Kemp. That's nine. Yeah. 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 Good. I'm glad he made it. 33 children, something like that. <laughs> he is, yeah. Yeah. That guy Fertile. Was prolific, yeah. to say the least, on and off the court. Is Austin Carr here? That's eight. Yeah. Shout out AC, man. Has the most points scored in a D1 college game for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Wow. Yeah, he's electric. Delonte West. Ooh, not there. Funny ball. Not that funny. But I, yeah. I know, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal. Not there. I forget he was a yeah, gambler. A lot of people forget. A lot of people forget. Oh, my God. How do we not think about this for this long? Anderson Vergeau. Oh, not there. The Ooh, wild please. things here, I, not here? Oh, oh man. man. Uh, Mo Williams? Not there. Is Kyrie here? That's two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. We drafted him. He's a cab at heart. What are we looking for? One in ten. Oh, interesting. One? I renewable? Not there. Okay. Uh, show me commentary YouTuber Drew Gooden. <laughs> That's not there. Oh. Invented the soul patch on the back of his head. Yeah, I don't know. You don't get more famous than that. Yeah. Um, something we could all get behind here is World Be Free here. <laughs> That's 10. Yes. Really? Do you, do you remember World Be Free? <laughs> yeah, well, of course. Yeah, yeah. Not personally, but yeah. What, he was kind of the OG metal world piece. Hasn't played there that long, but show me Robin Lopez. Ah. Uh, not, not there. Okay. That's good, guys. Pretty good off the bench. Yeah, he's, he's not bad. He's a force. Doesn't really sit on the bench ever, too. I like that. Yeah. Bad back. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, Danielle Marshall. <laughs> Not there. Really? He held the most threes in a game for a very long time. Yeah, 13, did. I believe. Did, yeah. yeah. Broken by Steph Curry. Or Clay Thompson. One of those shooters. And then broken again by Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> Short stint there, but show me Dwayne Wade. Mm. Not there. Wow. Is Sasha Pavlovic here? <laughs> Not there. Oh, I, I love, thought you had it. I love Sasha. I thought you had it. I love Sasha. How about Malia Pavlovic? Wait, what? Not <laughs> <there>. <laughs> Sasha and Malia. <laughs> I don't know. Um, veteran we picked up kind of after the trade deadline when we were making our original 08 finals push. Is Joe Smith here? <laughs> Not there. It's too early, but I'll, I'll guess Donovan Mitchell. Not there. Uh, mm. Someday. Had a lot of potential and an unfortunate career. Is Anthony Bennett on the list? Not there. Oh. oh. Kind of famous for flopping. Yeah. And not the kind of, like, the good flopping. No. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. Not a Manu Ginobili type. No. Shout out UNLV, though. Show me one of the greatest shooters to ever live, Kyle Korver. Not there. Oh, I thought that was it. When you said greatest shooters, I thought you were going to say Wally Zerbiak. <laughs> not there. Ooh. All-time Mac leading scorer. Who do you play for? Uh, Miami, I believe. Miami oh. of Ohio. Red Falcons? Something. Red. Red something. something. Yeah. Shot with his thumbs, too. Had a kind of a goofy shot. Yeah. Definitely known more for his time in Detroit, but what about Ben Wallace? No. Mm. Late era Ben Wallace on the Cavs was still a problem. Yeah. All right, we need a deep pull here. I have no idea. I don't know. Let's go with uh, the guy who came right out of high school from Ohio. Is LeBron James here? That's number one. Oh. That makes sense. He won a title. Yeah, he won a title. Yeah. 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 And he's like the all-time NBA scoring champion. <laughs> yeah. I guess that makes yeah. sense. And uh, Space Jam. Ah, oh, he was in Space Jam mm-hmm. too. All right. Well, that's the 10 best Cleveland Cavaliers of all time. Let us know what team to do next. Go Cavs. <laughs> On three. Go Cavs. So one, two, three. <laughs> Guys, tell me the 10 most followed Instagram accounts. Other than mine? All right, I'll start us off. Please do. I think I still know number one. Is number one Cristiano Ronaldo? That's two. Number two, somebody passed him. Did Lionel Messi pass him? That's three. Did Selena Gomez pass both of them? That's four. Oh. Who is number one? Kim Kardashian. That's eight. Justin Bieber? Not there. Chloe Kardashian. That's 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taylor Swift? Not there. Really? Keeping in the family, Kylie Jenner. 
That's five. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. LeBron James. Not there. Okay. Um, Beyonce. That's nine. Man, this is difficult. Who has more, like who would be the king or queen of that mountain? Should we epic fails? Not there. Leonardo DiCaprio? Not there. Uh, I'm gonna go with is Instagram itself. That is number one. <laughs> that is so stupid. Yeah, that's that is, should, that should even count. That's, what are their posts? I don't know. Maybe the logo. It's like an <laughs> image of the image. Of the image. <laughs> no, it's probably like inspiring videos of people like parasailing in the Caribbean or something. Show me, Lord. Not there. Lord, huh? Okay, yeah, interesting. I was gonna guess pink. Um, is Emily Ratajkowski on there? No. Emrata, great guess. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful Instagram. <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah. A lot of people follow it. Really balances the thirst traps, mommy duties, and fashion posts quite well. I love it. Me too. It's a juggling act that only few can handle. Mm -hmm. She deserves more recognition. Probably the most worldwide recognizable male actor ever. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's six. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Not okay. much of an actor, just kind of appears on camera as himself. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, yeah. Do we have Billie Eilish here? No. It's a good guess. Good guess. I like mm. that. Dua Lipa? No. Her Instagram rocks, too. Yeah, that's an underrated Instagram. Everybody go follow. Get her on this <laughs> list. She's a bit of a foodie. She travels. Has a great friend group, seemingly. Very supportive. Kind of fun. Spontaneous. Great captions. Too. Great captions. Really clever cool. stuff. And will, you know, pop up with Elton John and the likes of the, the elite, the global elite. <laughs> okay. Give me a hint. The hint is Dev Lemons raps about this person. Is it Ariana Grande? That is seven. Wow. <laughs> Never paid attention to her Instagram. I follow. I'm a follower. I'm one of the millions and millions. If you're an Ariana Knight? Yeah, absolutely. Ariana Grande with the Vendi Latte. Ariana Grande with the venti latte. All right, so those are the 10 most followed Instagrams. Please follow both of us on there to get us on the list. Please, 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 please. please, 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 please. And we're also on YouTube, thank you. Yes. Top three celebrity lookalikes. Apparently you can do two people at once. Let's see. Bing. Oh, The weekend. Tedros. Kourtney Kardashian. And Oprah. Oh, those are like my three favorite people of all time. Honestly, let's see real quick. And then you? I'm gonna try to give it to him. You do give me like Tedros vibes a little bit. Just like in the way you are in relationships. It's kind of like. You just gotta check out my artist. And cool. <laughs> check yeah. out my artist. Yeah. Uh, and give me some of that. <laughs> here, wait, wait. I'll, I'll test something out really quick. <clears throat> Hello, Angel. Let me know.